play takes place in the year 47 BC, over 2,000 years ago. There's a man named Julius Caesar, and he's just won a war against a very powerful man named Pompey. When he comes back to Rome, everybody loves him and celebrates him, and he gets offered to become a dictator for life. And he denies it three times. People are saying he's like a god, and he starts believing that, and his ego gets too big, and he gets too power hungry. Caesar is a man beloved by most people, but some people don't like him. And they think it's unfair that he gets to become a dictator for life. They think Caesar's too ambitious, and they think that he'll do something bad in the future if he becomes dictator. And so a conspiracy forms against him. A group of senators which become conspirators. They come up with a plot to murder him. So then they get Brutus, who is one of Caesar's friends, to help them kill Caesar. He was warned twice by the soothsayers and his wife, Calpurnia. Calpurnia has a dream about what's going to happen with the conspirators and Caesar, and he does not believe her. It's been planned for almost three days, and he still doesn't realize it, despite all the warnings he gets. Everything that conspirators wished to happen, happened, and when Caesar saw Brutus, who was his best friend, other than Mark Antony, about to stab him, he was just shocked and says the famous line, et tu Brute, which means, and you too, Brutus. Their plan backfires because people who love Caesar get mad. Then Caesar's friend Mark Antony ends up avenging Caesar's death. And he persuades his citizens and basically starts a Roman war against the conspirators and ends up winning. Julius Caesar helps us think about questions like, should we kill people for crimes they might commit? The senators could have waited until he became king to see what he would have done. I learned a lot about mob mentality, and I really thought like about would people have killed Caesar if they weren't in a group? Would each one of them had, have made the decision on their own? Don't jump to conclusions for what you might think, because it might actually not happen. So the play is kind of about making good decisions in life and not bad decisions in life. I'm really excited to perform Julius Caesar in front of an audience. And I think it has been a really great experience being able to tour and go to new schools, new audiences. 